Hey guys, it's Clary Berry here, and I just want to show you guys what I'm doing with the salad. I have just the basic set of Debbie Meyer green boxes, so not a whole ton. Um, I wish I had some more, but I just want to show you this because I thought somebody might, you know, get some creativity out of this or some motivation, inspiration, etc. Um, getting so much salad, I really should have gotten on this the other day when I bought it, but it's two days later, and I am just ready to finally get to this. And I wanted to show you guys. I, I chop it up. This is kind of how I normally... No, this is not how I normally do it. I, I did it all right. Okay, so as you can see, this one, a little bit bigger. This is not Debbie Meyer, but regular Tupperware. But this one has a lot of the lower, the crispier, you know, parts that are more like iceberg on this green leaf lettuce. And these shallow ones that I'm using right here are having the the tops. I just basically, I don't, wa I don't wash these yet at this point because when you have them in the storage, you want them to just be you know, crisp. You don't want them to get soggy with all the extra water in there. So just, so just chop them up literally, throw them in here. You can wash it right before you make them. And these are in a different container because you, you want to use these first because this is the most nutritious part of the lettuce. And as you can see, it's always the one that's going to go bad first. So, you know, you could even, if you want to be really smart, like put a number on these or something like that. Lots and lots of lettuce, as you can see. And there's gonna be more even. That was three, I've already eaten two. So I've eaten basically a head of lettuce a day, which is kind of interesting. I, I haven't been pushing it. This is just a very normal lately. Um, but actually, no, it's been pretty high raw for me, but not high salad. Sometimes I've eaten like two heads of, of lettuce in a day easily, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of bulkage. Anyway, I also just wanna show you here on this lovely Friday night that after it was all done, after all the lettuce is gone, I've used up every single Debbie Meyer except for the two tiniest ones. So I also just wanted to tell you guys about, okay, so I have the icebergy parts, the bottom, and all of these. And we have, as you can see, the tip tops in here. And if I was really smart again, I would organize these from like the, be the worst to the best but I think I won't have any problems really getting to it. So what I'm gonna do is put these in different spots in the fridge, put them have, each have their own spot. So it'll be a mindless thing. I won't even have to think about it. I'll just pull out these first. These will be toward the back somewhere where I'll get to them later. So I just love my Debbie Meyer boxes and I thank Tanny Raw for telling me about them. I was kind of anti-Tupperware, but I think these are I think these are pretty good quality. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys know what is going on next. I am working on my kale. I uh, washed the kale. I tore it up, tore the big stems off, and crumbled it up some more. Then I put some lime juice in here. Of course, you could also use lemon. I put a little apple cider, no, not apple cider vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar or lemon or lime, of course. And then, so that's the first ingredient, or the second ingredient besides kale. Sorry about my nails, by the way. Um, then we put some liquid aminos in there, some Bragg's liquid aminos. And then, to top it all off, you just add a little bit of the nutritional yeast. Hey guys, so this is a typical Friday. I am all about the food. And I'm feeling really great because I'm eating mostly just raw food so far, but I found these in the fridge. These are a couple days old and need to be eaten, so I wanted to go ahead and make them as appetizing as possible without having to add too many other cooked ingredients. So what I did is I just took the same ingredients from my kale salad. This is going to be my kale dressing. I call it my kale salad dressing, even though there's no kale in it. It's just easier than saying liquid aminos and nutritional yeast and lime. This is my signature dressing. And I love, love, love it. I also threw some celery in here. And um, I'm really happy that I thought of this. I actually thought of it the other day with thinking of apple cider vinegar because I knew that I could make some sort of a, a dressing that doesn't take anything creamy like mayonnaise, like vegan mayonnaise. Or um, last time I made one with, um, or no, I made a pasta salad with vegan coconut yogurt as part of the dressing. I thought that would be a good alternative 
but that's a, a lot more expensive. This is something that you can just do. You know, you have these big bottles of stuff that last you forever. And then, you know, you get bulk nutritional yeast and you can have just the best dressing for anything. I mean, it's great on kale. It's great on regular salad, vegetables, beans, etc. This is really good. You could put it on a sandwich. You could put it on a salad. You could just eat it plain. You could have it for breakfast. You could have it for dinner. You could take it to lunch. So really excited and so good. So give it a try. I couldn't find the bread that I wanted at High View today. I think it's at Price Chopper, so I got to go find that, but I'm going to make a sandwich. So good. <laughs>